Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. The original cantilevered steel truss bridge connecting Natchez and Vidalia opened to traffic on this day, September 26, 1940. Measuring 4,205 feet, the span across the Mississippi River originally operated as a toll bridge, accessed through an imposing plaza with toll booths and encircling wooden colonnade. Constructed between 1938 and 1940, the bridge was a project of the Works Project Administration and the Franklin Roosevelt Administration. At the same time the bridge was being constructed, WPA workers relocated the entire town of Adalia as part of a Corps of Engineers plan to manage flooding. The WPA laid out new streets and sidewalks and moved over 100 homes and commercial buildings. In July 1988, a second span over the Mississippi was opened which now accommodated one-way traffic from Vidalia to Natchez. In 2010, both structures were lighted in a $3 million project between the city of Vidalia and the Louisiana and Mississippi Department of Transportation. With over 2 million people residing in a 200-mile radius of the region, it is not surprising that the two bridges at Natchez carry an average of nearly 30,000 vehicles a day. Today, the former toll plaza serves as an entrance for the Natchez Visitors Reception Center from which visitors can enjoy a spectacular view of the twin spans stretching across the mightiest of rivers. Hi, I'm Derek Biglane. Grew up in Natchez, Mississippi and currently living in North Mississippi. I'm the president of the Mississippi River Parkway Commission and this has been your Natchez History Minute.